Hey guys, I'm back with part 7 for this tutorial on how to build this suburban house. Here in this video, we're going to be starting the interior furnishings. So we're going to go ahead and do all those furnishings for the first floor of the house here in this video. So before we actually start doing any of the furnishings, I want to go through the entire house and start adding some lights first. So I have some sea lanterns and iron trap doors, and I'm just going to start placing these in the ceiling. So maybe a sea lantern here and here and cover them up with iron trap doors and you could just add as many until you feel like it's bright enough in the house keep in mind it might still be a little bit dark on the floor that's because we'll add some sea lanterns in the ground cover them up with carpet that's only if we actually need the extra light but i'm gonna go through the entire house and just start adding a bunch of lights in the ceilings throughout all of the bedrooms throughout this entire space for the second floor as well and for the attic and okay i already did all the lights in here so i'm gonna go through the main part of the house and do all of that and i'll show you guys how many i actually ended up adding and then we'll get on to doing the furnishings All right, I'm here in the attic adding the last of the lights. So just have to do them here in this bathroom. I think just one right there should be good. So here's this bathroom, got this bedroom. As you can see, I just added enough to where you can still see. It's um, definitely bright enough. There are a couple little dark spots, uh, but we'll be sure to add some more lights, maybe some lamps and stuff when we do the furnishings. So here's what the second floor living room area is looking like and we ended up doing these lights in the previous video have these ones in here uh, this bathroom just a couple and then the first floor and once again you can see the wood parts actually even here as well is a little bit dark but we'll add some extra lights okay i gathered up some blocks and i'm actually going to start here in this bedroom first so I have some quartz stairs, some ferns, flower pots, end rods, light gray concrete, green concrete, snow. Uh, if your snow melts, these are going to be used for the pillows on the bed. If your snow melts, I always say just to grab maybe some white carpet. And then we have some quartz slabs, blocks of quartz, and then birch trap doors. This bedroom is very, very simple. It's more of like a guest bedroom. Uh, it's on the first floor of the house. It's right near the end. Oh, <laughs> this is the entrance right near the entrance. I thought the door is right there. So, um, yeah, just right off the front door right over here. You got a half bathroom and stuff. So it's like a little guest bedroom. So uh, let's just start with the bed. So I have some blocks of quartz. We're going to add three right there lined up at the window. And then I'll go ahead and have two quartz stairs side by side. So these would be like nightstands. And then I'm going to have a quartz stair on each end of the three blocks of quartz here. And then we want an upside down quartz stair right in between those. And then the quartz slab. Grab your green concrete. We'll have two rows of green, then a row of light gray, and then a row of green. Oh, you know what? If you ended up using different colored walls in here, let's say this is like blue for you. Uh, then I would recommend having a blue bed as well so it all matches uh, But if you use like the same colors as me, then we're gonna go ahead and have a green bed uh, Let me see. Yeah, okay, so let's grab the quartz stairs We're just gonna place three here at the footboard. So they all curve together like that And then on top of that we're gonna have some quartz slabs And then I have my snow which will be used as pillows. I'll go ahead and add a, uh, another layer there and then I'm going to have a flower pot whoops whoa I did oh never mind I thought it was completely like connected with the flower pot for a second there that would have been really cool uh, but yeah we're gonna have a flower pot there and then a fern inside of those and then we'll have an end rod on each corner and then a light gray concrete block and those are lamps all right 
So there we go. And then I'm just gonna have a little storage thing here in the corner. So three blocks of quartz. And then a quartz slab. And I'm gonna grab the birch trap doors and add these on the side. And that is really all there is here in this bedroom. Like I said, it's very simple, more like a guest bedroom. So not much going on in here. Uh, I'm thinking you could maybe try to squeeze something in right here, but we do have the doorway right here, so it'll be a little bit cramped. Um, I guess if you don't mind having one block of space in between here and maybe like a table here, you could add one. So like maybe a table right there. If you don't mind having this one block of space, I think it's a little bit cramped having just one block of space. I always like to at least have two, but that's up to you. You could add, can't really add like a desk with the chair or anything, but you could add like a small table if you want to fill this in a little bit more because it is a little bit empty, but I'm going to leave it at that. And let's do this hallway. So I'm just going to grab some sea lanterns and some carpet. So how about some gray and... Maybe like brown, we'll do that. And I'm gonna carve out a square here on the floor, which will then fill in with the sea lanterns. Okay, and then let's maybe have some gray carpet right there, and then maybe the rest of it brown. All right, now I'm gonna have, how about just a small table here? So let's grab the court stairs. Okay, so I have a small table there, and I'm thinking, I want a bush right here in the corner, so maybe we can move this table over. Oh, I like that. Why not? So, cool little design, that looks good. And I want a flower pot, we'll maybe grab, how about a white tulip, that's cool. We could also maybe add a skeleton skull, how about the wither one, right there. And then right here in the corner, I'm going to grab a jungle log. And then we also need some jungle trap doors. And I'm also going to grab the oak leaves. And they are right here. So just an extra little decoration here. So I just had the jungle log, then a jungle trap door on each side, and then three oak leaves. Okay. Now, let's head on into this half bathroom. I'm just gonna clear all this so we're all organized. All right, and then this as well always goes up there. Okay, so the half bathroom isn't gonna be much going on in here because it is just a half bath. So we just need the toilet and a sink. We're not gonna have a shower or anything or a bathtub because it is just a half bathroom. So it's like, if you ever heard of the term powder room, it also has that name. So it's just a room with a bathroom and a toilet. It's more for like guests. All right, so uh, over here, we'll have the sink. I'm thinking, let me look at this doorway. Should we move it over towards the left? And then let's say if we have that there. Okay, let's go ahead and shift over this doorway because I feel like having the sink right there is just a little bit cramped. So let's shift it over to the left one. So let me just go ahead and delete this. And we'll go over here to the left. And then we'll fill this in. Okay, so we're gonna have two spaces of the wall here towards the right, and then just one space towards the left. And then we'll mark out the doorway again. Okay, simple adjustment. I think it'll make it better. And then let me grab the stone buttons. And then right here, we'll replace this wall. Oh, whoops. Okay, I think it's all fixed. Yeah, that's better. So now we'll walk in here towards the right. We'll have the sink. Let me actually 
delete that middle one. So just a block of quartz on each side. And then over here will be the bath, or not the bathtub, the uh, toilet. So a block of quartz, upside down quartz stair, and a quartz slab with a stone button. Let me clear all this now. And we'll grab a weighted pressure plate right there. Now let's focus on the sink. So we'll have, how about we'll grab like a flower pot and maybe the lily of the valley. Have that right there. And then I always like to grab a hopper, a lever, the item frame, a bucket of water, and then birch trap doors. Okay, so I have the hopper there. We'll cover up all of this with the birch trap doors like that. We'll crouch, make sure to add water in the hopper. And then I always like to have a lever pointing down and an item frame on the wall behind the lever. Uh, and if you can't actually do like this with the lever and the item frame, don't even worry about it. Just add the lever pointing down like that. That's good enough. Uh, but I always like to add the item frame. It just adds a little bit more. But I have been seeing comments where people can't add the item frame like that. So don't even worry about it if you can't. It's no big deal. It's just a little echo. A little uh, extra decoration I like to add. Uh, this could use a little bit of extra light, so I'm gonna have a lamp right here on top of the sink. So maybe an end rod and just like, a, oh, not white concrete. We don't want it to match the wall. We'll have, uh, let's see, maybe just light gray. We'll have that right there in the corner. And that's it for this bathroom. How about we add a painting here? So we'll fill this hole in with a with the uh, sea lanterns. And then we'll go ahead and grab a painting. And that's cool. All right, there we go. Now we are good with this bathroom. That's all we're gonna have in there. Maybe we could add some flower pots, some little decorations on the window seal here, but that's up to you. Okay, I think we're good here. So we have this entire side of the house done for the first floor. Now we'll start focusing on the kitchen, dining room, and living room. And yeah, we'll probably, after we like do this entire big space, we'll probably leave it at that for this video because normally the kitchen always takes a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and do the kitchen now. So I have some blocks of quartz, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, skeleton skulls, iron trap doors, furnaces, levers, sea lanterns, item frames, some powered rails, hoppers, birch trap doors, a spruce pressure plate, some flowers of your choice. I have the lily of the valley and the blue orchid, and then a couple campfires. All right, let's go ahead and start marking out the counters and the refrigerator and stuff like that. So I have the blocks of quartz. I'm just gonna start over here at this wall. I'm gonna just bring it right along the entire wall and then over here as well. So right on the edge of that wall there, and right on the edge right there. Okay, right over here on this edge is going to be the refrigerator. So go ahead and place two more blocks towards the right, and then one curving over towards the left. Then we'll have some upside down quartz stairs and two slabs on top of that. And then right here lined up at this window, we're going to carve out these two blocks. This is where the hoppers are going to be, where the sink is. So we'll go ahead and add the hoppers there. And I just remembered we also need some buckets of water so we can fill those in. Okay. Right here, uh, I actually want these to be upside down quartz stairs. Then we'll have item frames and then birch trap doors. And we're gonna flip these around so they look like handles. So these could be like uh, drawers right here. Uh, you pretty much think of them however you like. I either think of them as drawers or one of those things that spin around that have maybe like your pots and pans on them or something. So think of it however you like. Maybe even like um, the trash can area. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the reason why I like to have these in the corner like that is because I have the birch trap doors like this to cover up all the blocks of quartz. So they look like drawers. And we can't have them side by side here in the corner, so I just add these instead. 
Let's be sure to crouch and add these in front of the hoppers. And then since we're at it, let's go ahead and crouch and add the water and the hoppers as well. And the levers pointing towards the hoppers. All right, right here at this empty space, we'll have the spruce pressure plate. So that's like a cutting board. All right. Right above the sink, it's a little empty here, so I added some shelves. So I have, should we have it here? No, I had it one lower, so I had it right here. And another one there. And then some decorations on that, so just like a skeleton skull. And then we'll have the flower pot. Oh, I never grabbed the flower pot, whoops. Let me go ahead and grab that. And then the blue orchid. We'll have that right there. Okay. And then over here, oh yeah, let's add the, um, the extra storage. So, like the cabinets. So we have four blocks of quartz there, and then four here. So eight in total, leaving one space in between the counter down here, and the cabinets here. And then instead of slabs like I normally would have up here, I'm actually going to grab the iron trap doors. So when you're down here, just a little bit of extra decoration above the cabinets. Let's go over here where these three spaces are and do the same thing. Iron trap doors. Now let's grab the birch trap doors and cover up all these blocks of quartz. And these are now like cabinets. Okay. And over here, I don't think I really had anything. I I think it was pretty much just empty. If you can think of any decorations to add here, feel free to go ahead and do it. Maybe like a microwave or something. Should we do that? Yeah, why not? I don't think I had anything else over here, so why not? We'll go ahead and add a microwave. I normally don't do those, but I have like a little design that I did once before. So we'll have it right in the center. Maybe like a full block of quartz there with an item frame. And is there anything that, that looks like maybe like the number pad, instead of having a birch trap door like that, is there like a number pad we could do? Hmm, yeah, I don't think there's really anything. I can't think of anything. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a block of glass. We'll go ahead and do the white stained glass, since that's normally how a microwave is anyway. You can't really see directly inside of the microwave. It's normally like tinted or kind of covered up. So we'll have some stained glass. And, uh, that's pretty much all I'm really going to do for the microwave. How about we have, let's see, I'm thinking of something like on each side, but then, it, then that kind of looks a little bit weird. Yeah, I guess that's good. I don't know. Why not? We'll keep it. We'll just say it's a microwave. I'm going to try to find a block here that we could use instead of the trapdoor. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else to have in there, so we'll just leave it like that, that's fine. Okay, so now let's go ahead. Right here, I think I want a lamp, because it's a little bit dark. So let's go ahead and grab an end rod, we'll put it right there, and then just a gray concrete block, I'll hurry up and grab this. A regular gray block. Okay, let's go ahead and start marking out the island now. So I'm going to start with some full blocks of quartz. I want to leave two spaces here and two spaces here. So we're going to start it like this, make it just three blocks wide should be good. So then we have an extra two spaces here. Now I'm going to bring it along until right there. Okay, now I want to grab some quartz stairs. We'll have, we'll replace that final block. We'll have a quartz stair in that direction and then two more like that. Okay. Now we'll go over to, let's see, this side right here. Let's replace these blocks. We'll have a stair like that. And, oh, you know what? We're going to have to have it like that. So we'll have one there, then another one, another one, and another one. So just a little bit of a unique shape to the island instead of just having it all full blocks of quartz. Over here we'll leave these full blocks of quartz just as it is. Okay. 
Let's switch back to the full blocks of quartz. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm thinking... Should I make this island maybe a little bit smaller? So let's say if I were to have two blocks here... Yeah, yeah, then we'll go ahead and have like the ovens here. Then we have a little bit of extra counter space towards the right. Okay, so let's fill these blocks in. So we have two blocks of quartz here. And then we have these four quartz stairs that are upside down on this side. Then over here we have these three quartz stairs all curving together. Then a block of quartz here. Alright, these two empty spaces, we're going to have two furnaces. And underneath, actually real quick, underneath we're going to have the campfires. So just in case, I'm not sure if the campfires would cause the house to burn down. But just in case, like I mentioned with the fireplace, let's say you didn't do the fireplace and didn't turn fire spread off. Keep in mind if you want the campfires here to give off smoke where the furnaces are, you will probably need to turn fire spread off just to be on the safe side. So we're going to have two campfires there. And then if the furnace is like that, the smoke goes away from me. So I always like to add the powered rails. If your smoke doesn't go away, then I guess you could just leave it as it is if the smoke is still appearing but for me in my case when i add the powered rails the smoke then appears so i'm just gonna have it like that this also looks like the metal uh pieces that you would put your pots and pans on so that adds another little touch of detail as well okay and now let's go ahead i'm gonna grab these full box of quartz then we have the quartz stairs then we need the quartz slabs We'll need the sea lanterns and the iron trap doors. And we're going to go right here. We have these two blocks of quartz here. We're going to maybe just go to like the left one. Look straight up. Add a block of quartz. Go to the right. Add another one. And then we'll go down another layer and add another two. So we have four like that in the ceiling. Then we're going to go down another layer and add two sea lanterns. And then we're going to add the quartz stairs around. Should we move this over so it's like right above the smoke? Let's go ahead and move it over so it makes more sense. So um, it looks like it's pretty much a vent that's supposed to suck up all the hot air and stuff. So it'd be a little bit weird having it not lined up. So let's have it right there, right above the, uh, right above the furnaces. And then we have sea lanterns. In my case... I'm putting the sea lanterns so it's like an extra light source, but in real life, like I said, it would be like to suck up all the hot air. So I'm going to have quartz stairs around each side of the sea lanterns. And then in each corner, we're going to have a quartz slab. And then right along, right underneath, we're going to have quartz slabs right along the edge. And then to cover up the sea lanterns, we're going to have some iron trap doors like that okay and then maybe a little extra decoration here on the uh counter we'll have like a lily of the valley and a flower pot how about like right there and then i want some high chairs so i'm gonna have a stair like that and like that and then in the opposite direction so it looks like high chairs maybe like some breakfast chairs Okay, you could add some weighted pressure plates in front of these chairs so they look like plates. So let's go ahead and grab some of those which are right here. Okay, and there we go. The kitchen is done. Like I mentioned, the kitchen always takes the longest. So yeah, after we get the dining room and living room done, we'll leave it at that for this video. But yeah, I think this is a very solid looking kitchen. I think it looks really good. So there we go. Now we'll go ahead and focus on the dining room table. And then we have a couple couches with a carpet for the living room and that is about it. So we'll get on to the dining room area next. Okay, so I gathered up all the blocks we're gonna be using. So we have the dining room table and the chairs right here. I have a table over here with some decorations and some bushes. And then over here, I have a desk. So like, kind of just like a small office area. If you need to get quick work done, there's just a desk right here. And then a storage area here. 
So I gathered up all the blocks. I'm just going to scroll through them all and uh, you guys could see which one you need to grab. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is the desk first. Why not? So I have my quartz stairs and I'm going to place maybe just one right there, maybe one there. And then how about one here and here? And then we'll just have a slab in the middle. It's all symmetrical. So like that, it's lined up with the window. It looks good. Let's go ahead and grab a quartz stair, place it right there in the middle. And then an iron door behind it. And then an item frame on each side of the stair. So that is the chair. We'll go ahead and have an item frame on each side. So it's like a drawer. Some little extra storage on the desk. We'll go ahead and add a birch trap door and flip it around so it looks like a handle. Alright. Right here in the middle. Oh, I need to grab the... Yeah, the spruce trap door is what I always like to use. I'm going to go from inside where the window is and place it right there and then we're going to have a painting on that so we'll go ahead and maybe just have a slab on each side let me go ahead and crouch add the painting there so it looks like part of a laptop and then we'll have a stone pressure plate and a stone button so pressure plate there button it's it's uh on its side for me but it's fine you can still tell what it is so that's like the mouse. All right, over here in the corner, we'll have the end rod and maybe just a gray concrete block for a lamp. Over here on this side, we'll have a flower pot with, how about the blue orchid? And we'll leave it at that for the desk. That's cool. Let's do the storage thing here. So just some blocks of quartz, quartz slabs, and some birch trap doors. We'll have it right here. So like that, six blocks of quartz, quartz slabs, and then trap doors to cover up the blocks of quartz. All right, so that's all looking good. Now let's go ahead, oh, right here. I want a painting in the wall, so maybe just carve out four blocks like that. Replace it with sea lanterns. And then we'll go ahead and have a painting right there. That one's cool. All right. Let's go ahead and mark out where the dining room table is going to be now. So we're going to, we're going to need some quartz stairs and blocks of quartz. No slabs for the table. So we want to leave... So four blocks, it's going to be one, two, three, four. We'll delete this, don't, don't place this, I'm just counting. Uh, so four spaces, and then five will be like the edge of it. So we got to place one here. So we have five spaces here. And then I placed the block of quartz. And then I have three spaces of wood on the right and three spaces of wood on the left. And then we want to go ahead and we'll grab a quartz stair, place it upside down on that side of the full block of quartz. Then we'll go from this side right up against the quartz stair. We'll place another one like that. And then one over here on this side like that. So it looks like... Pretty much looks like two full blocks of quartz on each side and then a stair in the middle but then on this side they're actually stairs and then we'll have an upside down stair right there and then another one so there will be a chair there so then we need another one and then one more so we have this curved one oh wait we need three in the middle so we have the curved one three in the middle and then we need another curved one so we'll have a full block of quartz right there. Then we'll have this curved one. And then let's go ahead and replace this block of quartz with a stair like that. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing. So we have a stair there, three in the middle, and then the stair there. And then we are left with three full blocks of quartz in the middle. 
Okay, so that might have been a little bit confusing, so I'll go through. When we look at it from this side, we have a quartz stair here, right down the middle on each side. And then on the sides, it's just... I guess this is way more simple now. It's just five quartz stairs curving together on each side. <laughs> like that, so just five quartz stairs on each side. Then an upside down one in the middle on the uh, on like the ends like this and then three full blocks of quartz right in the middle of that okay i hope that's easy enough to explain you can see it's not very difficult okay now we'll have a quartz stair here and here then here and here and then on each end so these are the chairs for the table go ahead and grab the iron door and we need the uh, not the paintings, the item frames. So go ahead and add, have all these doors behind the stair. Then all the item frames. Okay, I think that's good. Right down the middle, I'm going to have a lamp. So we'll grab an end rod and a gray concrete block. Have a lamp right here to give off light. And then in front of all the chairs, I'm going to have a weighted pressure plate to act as a plate. All right. And then I want a flower pot on each side of the lamp. And I just have some white tulips. And that's it for the dining room table. And now, uh, we just want a little table over here and a couple little decorations. So I'll have it, we'll have just like maybe three court stairs all curved together like that. And maybe a lamp right in the middle with a gray concrete block. A flower pot with maybe like the blue orchid. Actually, no, we'll have, I think I had the fern here. We'll go ahead and stick with that. And then right over here, maybe just a wither skeleton skull. And I think I had a skull over here on the desk. Don't need it, but I'm going to go ahead and have it anyway. Head back on over here. And I'm just going to grab the jungle logs, jungle trap doors, and the oak leaves. And we'll have these on each corner. Gives off another little extra decoration. All right, and there we go. We have this entire side done now. Dining room area, the kitchen area, some decorations along the outside. And now we just have the couches for the living room. And then I think I just had like a table and a carpet around the edge. So not much left else to do. I think I'll probably have like a table over here, maybe a bush in the corner. And yeah, so pretty much just like the couches for the living room area and we'll leave it at that for this video. Okay, I went ahead and gathered up the blocks we're gonna be using for the living room area now. So I have some gray concrete, white concrete, quartz slabs, quartz stairs, light gray carpet, gray carpet, sea lanterns, paintings, jungle logs, some oak leaves and jungle trap doors. We'll go ahead and use these jungle blocks and the oak leaves real quick. We're only going to be using them once, and it's going to be right here in this corner. We're going to just have a bush decoration. Same way that we've done the other ones. Just like that. And then let's go ahead and grab the painting and the sea lantern. We'll carve out a couple holes here. Replace that. And a couple holes here. I did end up trying to add a closet here, but it really didn't work with how the doorway would have been. So, um, yeah, don't even worry about this. We're just going to leave it cover it right up with the sea lanterns but yeah i did uh i re this is the second time I've re i'm recording this i did notice that there was space so i tried to add a closet there and the doorway and stuff but it didn't work <laughs> so yeah uh let's go ahead and cover up the sea lanterns with the paintings all right and we could have a small table here but let's but let's go ahead and add the couches first so i'm gonna line up here and it's a little dark over here let me go ahead and have a painting right here 
Let me have like two small ones like that. And not that one. <laughs> uh, not that one either. Not that one. Not that one. That's cool. All right. A little extra light over there. So now I want to line up at this corner here and I want to skip over two spaces and we'll grab the gray concrete. We'll place two like that. And then we'll have four blocks of white concrete and then two like that. On top of the uh, gray blocks, we're going to have quartz slabs. And then we're going to go ahead and have a quartz stair. And then two upside down in between those. Just like that. You could have maybe slabs on top of these stairs right there in the middle, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it like that. We're going to have slabs right here though. So there we go. We have one couch marked out. We're going to have a table right in the middle. So let's go ahead and skip over how about two spaces and then we're going to place two. Is that too much? That's too much. All right. We're going to skip over one space and then we're going to place four blocks right in the middle and that's going to be a little table. And then let's line up the other couch to the other side. So right here, four in the middle, then right here. And then slabs on top of the gray concrete. And then a quartz stair on each side, upside down in the middle. And slabs right there. So you can have the couch like that. Maybe have the slabs. I feel like that's a little bit too tall. That's more of like a traditional look. We'll go ahead and get rid of it. So that's cool. That's got like more of a modern look now. All right. And then I'm going to go right along the edge. Just one block right around the edge of the couches with a hole like this. And then we're going to delete all the wood within this hole. So right around the table pretty much. And we're going to replace this hole with sea lanterns. And this will give off the rest of the light that will be needed for the living room. All right, let's grab the gray carpet. Maybe have this part over here all gray. Maybe extend it out like that. And then the rest of it will have light gray. All right, that's cool. And like I said, you could have a little table here, but I feel like that might be a little bit cramped back here. So I'm just going to leave it. Oh yeah, one last thing I want to do is add a carpet right here. So we'll go ahead and carve this out. And uh, we'll bring it to right there. Why not? We'll replace this with sea lanterns. I feel like that's too close. Let's uh, have that wood instead. And then we'll just do... I don't want to have more light gray and gray. So let me clear all this. And we'll grab... How about some color? How about green? Where is it? Right here. Green and white. And you know what? We'll have four white there. The rest of it green. Okay. And there we go. I think what I'm going to do is leave it at that for this video. So we got the kitchen done. The dining room area done. We got the living room over here. Got this hallway. The half bathroom. Could add a flower pot right there. I'm actually going to because it is a little bit empty. So I'll have a flower pot, maybe like a corn flower right there. There we go. And then we have this bedroom. All right. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that here for part seven. So in part eight, we should be finishing the build. So we have another little living room area up here. Just a little closet here. Then we got the bedroom and bathroom. And then we have the attic, which has two more bedrooms and two more bathrooms. But they're not big. They're pretty small. So uh, we should get them done pretty quick. So yeah, we'll go ahead and leave it at that for this video. All right. So that's going to be it here for part seven for this tutorial on how to build this suburban house. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part eight. We should be finishing the build.